that's not the way it's supposed to work. Damn it, I was supposed to talk to the camera person. They talk back to me. God damn it. Good fucking morning, god damn it. <laughs> it is fucking food time, meal time. Eat big to get big, right? How many meals have you had today, god damn it? Have you had as many? This is my second meal and it's, fuck, what time is it? 8.30 a.m., 8 o'clock? I don't know, it's, it's early, so I got a good jump start on my day. And uh, my first meal was a shake. I was woke up fucking craving an ice cold, you know, shake like an icy. Um, you know, four scoops of real food, 10 egg whites, water, ice. I fucking blended that shit up and that shit was good. And you know, we all enjoy shakes. And um, I've been, you know, drinking shakes my whole life. But it's gotta be real food. Real food, goddammit. <laughs> it's all about real food. So this is my second meal. I'm having pasta and meatballs. And I believe this is what, rigatoni, I think they call it? Rigatoni, goddammit. And uh, correct me if I'm wrong, I know you guys will. You'll probably correct me even if I'm right. <laughs> so, but um, gluten-free pasta is definitely some fucking good ass shit. I love fucking pasta. Uh, that's the Italian in me, but I love pasta. Um, so, let's talk about the bandana on my head. The bandana is not a fashion statement today. The bandana is for a reason. So, I found out that I had, a, you know, a slight case of skin cancer, but it's nothing to be scared or worried about. It's the first stage, which is uh, basically you just get it cut out and that's it. You go on with your life, you know? Um, I, had, I had it once about four or five years ago. I had one on my lower back and um, I didn't know what it was at the time. And it was funny because I, I had no idea what it was, but it started growing, you know? And it was, it was really small and it started to get a little bit bigger. And I was like, what the fuck is this on my back? So, um, I don't know why, but I, I decided I was gonna get rid of it on my own. And uh, so there's this, uh, I think it's a, for warts on your hand and it freezes them and you put it on and it freezes it and then it like falls off or something. So I was like, someone told me, hey, try that. And I was like, fuck it. I didn't even know what it was, but I figured maybe it's a wart, I don't know. So I, I fucking put that shit and froze it and it fucking hurt like hell. And it, it, guess what, it, it was gone. But that motherfucker came back. <laughs> so so uh, then I had the person that I was with at the time, I said, hey, can you just, cut this fucking thing out. They're like, what is it? I said, I don't know, but it's, it's, it needs to be fucking, we need to get rid of it. So they, they, they didn't want to do it, but I talked them into it and they went in and they, they kept fucking cutting little pieces. And I said, just cut the fucker out. <laughs> you know, it's fucking worse cutting little pieces. So they cut it out and it, it, you know, it healed up and it seemed like it was gone. And I was like, okay, cool. Well, that motherfucker came back. <laughs> so, so I broke down, ended up going to the fucking dermatologist, and that's what it was. It was, it was uh, you know, the slight, whatever, skin cancer. So what they did is they, uh, they cut it out, you know, and what they do is they do a biopsy, and they send it out, and then they let you know what it is, and you come back. It's, it's a whole big process. But uh, long story short, I had it cut out, it was gone, it never came back. And it was all good. So I noticed that I had one on my forehead and I was pretty sure that's what it was. And then I had one on my chest and one on my shoulder. And I was pretty sure that this is the same thing I had, you know, four years ago. So uh, I have not, I had, I've probably had it for, I'm gonna be honest with you guys, it's probably been like a year <laughs> I fucking had this shit. And that's not good. And uh, I don't recommend anyone to fucking ignore that kind of shit. It's, it's, you know, you see some shit wrong, you need to go to the fucking doctor that day, you know, and have it checked out because you never know what the fuck it is. And you know, it, you need to catch it right away because you can cure it. Now you let it go, you know, you don't know what it is. You don't know what it can turn into, you know, and it could be life threatening for all you know. So people, this is my advice to you <laughs> is learn from my mistakes. So you see something that doesn't make sense or a little odd on your body, get, go get that shit checked out ASAP. There's nothing more important than fucking looking into that shit. Your health is the number one thing. So uh, my camera person 
you know, knew this and they they said, you know, you go ch get this shit checked out. Why are you fucking waiting? What are you waiting for? What are you, and it's like, fuck, I'm so fucking busy. I just haven't had time, like you don't have time. So my camera girl made an appointment for me and so I was, you know, kind of in a position where I had to go, right? So I went and uh, exactly what I thought it was. And so they cut him out and uh, let me see, I have the one on my chest here. I don't know if you can see it, but there's on my chest. And then I got this one on my shoulder they cut out. And then the one on my forehead, which is, you know, it's about the size of the one on my chest. And so they cut that shit out. And, you know, the way it works is, you know, everyone tries to milk you. You know, they try to get as much money as they can out of whatever fucking business it is. You know, it's all about fucking money, right? So what happens is you go in and they, they look at what it is and they, they, you know, check it out and they look at it, they study it or whatever. And then they schedule an appointment for you to come back and then there they're gonna, they're gonna cut it out and then they're gonna send a biopsy of it to a lab and then they decipher what it is exactly, which they fucking know what it is, but this is the way it works. And then they send it to a lab and then when the results come back, they have you come in a third time and they tell you what it is. They sit down and you know, give you a, a to Z of what it is and you know, how to avoid it and so on and so forth and then they cut it out possibly a second time um, if they didn't go in deep enough, you know, and get it all. And so it's basically three appointments. Well, I don't have time for fucking three appointments. I'm too fucking busy for three appointments. And it's like, if you guys want to make the fucking money on me, here, take my fucking money, I'll pay. It's not, it's not a money issue. I'll pay whatever the fuck, but I just, I don't have time in my day to come three times. Like my time, is way more important than this little bit of money that I'm giving you to, you know, for these office visits. So I said, you know, on the phone, I was talking to the lady on the phone. I said, Hey, I said, can we just make, can we just make all these three appointments into one appointment and I'll pay you for three appointments? <laughs> you know, and she's like, what the fuck? You know, she's never heard that one before. And I said, yeah, I said, look, I'll just come in and you guys just cut them out because the end result is you guys are going to end up, whatever the fuck it is, you're going to cut it out. That's the fucking, that's what you do. You cut the shit out and it's gone and it's done and it's fixed. So how about I just come in and you just cut the shit out, get rid of it. Then if you want to do a biopsy, you want to do whatever, then go ahead, do whatever, charge me whatever the fuck you want. I don't care, but I, I'd rather just come in for one visit. Yeah, that didn't, that didn't go over too well. They're not going to fucking do one visit. So, so. So long story short, I got him to do the first two visits together. And uh, so at least I have two visits instead of three. And so he, he cut them out and it's, it's a simple procedure. It, it literally took him 30 seconds to cut all three out. And you know, I guess it's like, like when you core an apple, you know, you stick it in and you go in a circular motion and you pop it out, right? That's kind of what they do. They put the scalpel, they go in a circle and they pop it out. You know, and they go deep, you know, possibly I would think maybe, maybe an eighth or a quarter of an inch deep inside you to get it all out. They want to get the core of it out and make sure they get rid of all of it because it will grow back if they don't get it all out. So the reason I'm talking about this, the reason I'm telling you guys my personal fucking shit that everyone else keeps to themselves is to help you. And I'm letting you guys see for your own eyes that you spend too much of this time in the sun when you become my age, guess what? Skin cancer. Now you look at me and you think, fuck, uh, how, why would I have skin cancer, right? What? Well, because I was in the fucking sun too much as a kid, as, a, as an adult, as a teenager, my whole life, you know, and becoming a bodybuilder, that's what we do. You know, we tan because we want to look the best we can. Our muscles show better. We look leaner when we're tan. So we spent a lot of time tanning and every time I did a bodybuilding show, I would tan all the way up to the show. And my thinking was I needed that base tan. So when I put the color on, I would be that much darker and you know, my, my color would be better than everyone else's on stage. So, you know, our mentality is to be the best we can be and do whatever it takes, you know, to be the best. And as far as the tan, you want to have the best tan, the best color. So I would tan every day up until the show, you know, literally every day and, uh, you know, and then put the tanning on and everything. But what I realized is you don't need to tan up until the show. It really doesn't help. You know, maybe you just need one more color, one more coat of the tanning and you'll be fine. 
you'll be just as dark if you had that base coat or didn't have that base coat. Once you put the color on, it covers up that base and it really doesn't fucking matter. So all that tanning that I thought was benefiting me was just fucking me up for no reason. So you guys are getting ready for a show. You don't need to fucking tan in the tanning bed. I know that it makes you look better. And as you're looking at yourself in the mirror and you're progressing and getting closer to the show, you know, you can see a lot more details when you're tan. Um, but it's not necessary and it's not worth later down the road dealing with fucking skin cancer. And you know, depending on your genetics, you know, I am probably have great genetics as far as not getting skin cancer. So all the time I spent tanning, if it was, you know, a, a blonde haired person or a red haired guy, it would be a million times worse. You know, they'd probably be fucking dying from skin cancer right now if they did what I did. So I have it pretty good. Um, but, you know, I'm just, what I'm doing is I'm trying to help everyone out there and let you know, stay the fuck out of the sun. There's no reason to be, you know, baking in the sun all day and, you know, obsessively tanning to look better. And um, the reality is, is it doesn't make as much difference as you think it does. And I haven't tanned, I haven't really tanned in probably at least 10 years. And, um, and tanning beds I haven't done in probably 15 years, uh, maybe 12 years. But actually, you know, I would go to Cancun for a week and I would lay out there and bake all day long. The whole week I was there, come back just, you know, black, basically. You couldn't even see my tattoos. Uh, you know, I'd go on cruises and lay out in the sun all fucking day. Well, on a cruise, there's really nothing else to do, right? I mean, it's, there's nothing to do on a cruise boat during the day except lay out by the pool. So that was like my normal, laying out in the sun was a normal thing. I did it all the time. And every house I've had pretty much has had a pool with the exception of the house before this one, there was no pool. I had a fucking basketball court. <laughs> Makes a lot of sense. But uh, you know, so laying out by the pool, spending time out by the pool. Um, I don't even fucking go out to this pool. I don't even, I haven't been out to this pool during the day, not even once the whole time I've lived here. I've been out in the pool at night, you know, I sit in the jacuzzi, I might jump in the pool briefly, but I'm never out there during the day. So uh, I guess the lesson here is you don't need to fucking tan, stay the fuck out of the sun, use sunblock, you know, think about the future, think about your health, think about your skin, and uh, that's what I'm doing. I'm just trying to fucking help you guys out and, you know, keep you from fucking having the problems I'm having. because. You know, being a bodybuilder and being in the fitness industry and everything I've done up to this point, you know, if I could go back and change things, I would change a lot of fucking things. So the, the best thing I could do is I could sit and help all the younger generation people coming up and I can tell you what not to do and I can keep you from making the mistakes I made. And you know, that's, that's kind of my mission is to educate people and help people to not make the same mistakes I made when it comes to, to everything. Um, you know, in the industry, there's, you know, there's a, there's a lot of things that, you know, are, are not good. So uh, tanning is one of them. Anyway, guys, I need to get back to fucking eating this goddamn meal. That's so yummy. And get my ass to the gym. My question to you is how many meals have you had today? Probably not enough. So what I'm telling you, Get up off your ass right now. Go fucking make something to eat and eat that shit. Right? You can never be fucking big enough. You gotta eat big to get big. So get up and go fucking have a meal. Right fucking now, goddammit. <laughs> it is package time, goddammit. Yeah. Oh yeah. Ah, goddammit. <laughs> okay, that worked out really good. <laughs> All right, look what we got. So I had to order extra shirts. You guys, I think you guys, I think I've already, yeah, we've already seen these shirts, but I had to order more. More fucking shirts. It's fucking Christmas every day in this house. <laughs> so. All right, so I'm ready for the gym and I just wanted to show off my new blue Gucci belt. And uh, what's crazy is I never could find a fucking blue one. I could not find a blue belt for nothing. So I finally found the blue one. Now I have pretty much every fucking color except I don't have a fucking red. 
because I need to find a red with a black Gucci emblem. And I found red with chrome, I found red with gold, but I have not found red with black. So that's what I'm looking for. Or I buy two fucking belts, the red with the fucking chrome, and then I buy the all black belt, and I take the black buckle, and I put it on the red belt, but I get a little ludicrous to buy two belts for one belt, you know what I mean? <laughs> so that's a little crazy. So, and I got my peaks on. I haven't worn my peaks forever. And uh, if you guys remember, I talked about peaks like a year ago. And the reason I got them is because no one else has them. It's a shoe that no one's heard of, no one's aware of, and I know when I wear these shoes that I can guarantee there's not anyone else in the building wearing peaks. I'm the only motherfucker wearing peaks, and that's the way I like it. So if I walked in wearing Nikes, guess what? I'd just be like everyone else. So I got my peaks. Oh, wait a minute. My camera person is trying to fucking one up me on the shoe game. God damn it. Look at that shit. What kind of fucking shoes are those? Those are sick as fuck. Oh, you're not gonna tell me. I see how it fucking is. God damn it. <laughs> Two and a half fucking hours. Um, calves was probably about a 40 minute workout. Shoulders was probably 40 minutes. And then arms, I don't know, maybe maybe 30, 40 minutes on arms, but uh, 
we didn't get any footage of the arms. Uh, just fucking calves and shoulders. Because my camera girl had to work out, right? She had to get her fucking workout in. So uh, I let her go do her thing, and so I was on my own for arms. But great fucking workout. Calves every motherfucking day. Calves are growing like there's no fucking tomorrow. So as far as overtraining, no motherfucking such thing. So, uh, you know, there's no such thing as overtraining, only under eating and under sleeping. So uh, don't be afraid to work out, people. Fucking go in the gym and straight kill that shit. Two, three, four motherfucking hours. Just keep going. No such thing as overtraining. No such thing as doing too much, right? The more you put in, the more you get out. So fucking kill that shit. Oh, I almost forgot. It's motherfucking shake time. God damn it. <laughs> I'm way behind in meals because I worked out for three fucking hours or whatever it was. I don't even know what it was, but whatever it was, they fucking put me behind in my meals. What's up, brother? How you doing, man? All right. So, uh, anyway, finish the shake and then we're off to fucking sushi, all you can eat, so I can make up for my meals. I figure if I eat about eight rolls, that'll make up for two meals and I'll be back on track. So, anyways, time to get my grub on. All right, just finished training and on our way to fucking sushi. <laughs> and I am so looking forward to fucking grubbing down as many goddamn sushi rolls as I can cram in my fucking mouth. <laughs> so we will see. But uh, I've been eating sushi a lot lately, and I'm not really a, I haven't really been a big sushi fan, so it's kind of out of the ordinary. But I don't know, I've just fucking been craving sushi and been going every day after I train to fucking sushi and grubbing down. And uh, it's working out perfect. But um, it's a little late. And like I said, I'm super behind in fucking meals uh, because I worked out too fucking long and it fucked me all up. But I would say that's not that bad of a problem, right? Working out too long? <laughs> oh, what the fuck? So I'll grub some sushi and I'll probably get one more meal in before I hit the sack. And then I'll get up early tomorrow and get a fresh early start and I'll get ahead and make it up tomorrow, goddammit. So I always make that shit up. Even if it takes me a week, I'll make that shit up. <laughs> so, are you ready for some sushi, camera person? I can't take it. You're not talking to me. I can't take it. It's driving me out of my fucking mind. <laughs> Goddamn silence. I'm all by myself. That's not the way it's supposed to work. Damn it. I'm supposed to talk to the camera person. They talk back to me. That's how this fucking situation works. It's not me all by my fucking self. God damn it. Oh yes, sushi round motherfucking one. And yes, there will be a round two. So round one is five rolls. And uh, my camera person is having one fucking carbless roll. <laughs> Goddamn lightweight over here. Anyway, I'm about to grub this shit down. I'm shooting for 10 rolls tonight. So it's gonna be, the goal is 10 fucking rolls. All right, I am fucking stuffed out of my mind. Jesus Christ. And I didn't need 10 rolls. <laughs> I was I was dreaming big time when I thought I was gonna be eating ten rolls. <laughs> that didn't fucking happen. Uh, but I ate a lot and I'm stuffed and I'm regretting it. But I'm gonna go home and I'm gonna sit in the fucking jacuzzi and it's gonna feel so awesome. That is my plan. And I didn't even mention that I got my Mercedes out of the fucking shop. Now this car 
I have not seen in what the fuck I gotta go right. This car I have not seen in like nine or ten months, maybe longer. Oh, someone wants to race. God damn it. <laughs> you see that? Oh, he's turning. Shit. Uh, yeah, so I, uh, I haven't driven this car forever. I forgot I even had it. But the air suspension went out in it. And uh, three of the four air suspensions completely fucking broke or whatever you want to call it. And uh, it was like the car was like sitting on the ground basically and uh, what else was wrong there was something else wrong with it so anyway it took forever for the guy to my mechanic to fix it but I got it back and I haven't driven this car I forgot I even had it so it's pretty cool it's like a new car well it's not new it's old but it's like an old new car it's like a different new car that's what it is uh, but yeah it's uh, it's but I'm I'm gonna I'm gonna fucking sell it because I have too much shit, too many cars, and I'm gonna sell everything because I'm sick of my shit. I'm sick of all my shit. I need some new, better shit, and uh, I can't wait. I have no idea what I want, but I'm searching and looking, and I'm moving to Florida, which I think you guys already know. But I'm gonna keep my place here, at least for the time being. And I'm gonna have a place in Florida. And I'm looking at the basically Tampa Clearwater uh, area, which is fucking awesome, beautiful. And uh, I was just there recently, but like two or three weeks ago. And fucking had a great time. Beautiful fucking place. Can't wait to fucking live there. And uh, I'm looking forward to going and investigating all the fucking gyms in the area. As you guys probably know, I hit Powerhouse, the fucking, the, the Mecca, the Mecca of Tampa. And that's, that's a badass gym. I definitely, I definitely like that place. Um, but from what I hear, there's a lot of fucking cool ass gyms. So I'm looking forward to checking those places out. And uh, it's so fucking cheap in Florida. Oh my God. It's unbelievable. It's crazy. And it's beautiful. And here we are. Hey. That was, that was the guard of this guard gated community. to have uh, I was when I moved in here I was supposed to get you're supposed to take your car and they put some kind of things on your headlights so that when your headlights hit the gate the gate goes up right well I have seven fucking cars so what am I gonna do take all seven cars one at a time to get the fucking shit put on them and they don't do it here like you have to fucking drive to some fucking place and they fucking do it there it's like a fucking pain in the ass so I needless to say I haven't done it so I have to wait in fucking line every fucking day I come home I come home to my house I have to wait in line to get fucking home <laughs> is that some crazy shit or what like I'm sitting there in my car waiting in line to go home and I'm like okay how much is this house worth that I bought that I have to wait in line to fucking get home like are you fucking kidding me Jesus Christ. It's like, it doesn't make any fucking sense. So I guess I need to go get my fucking cars done. I, I wish I could pay them to come to my house and put that shit on the headlights, but they, they I already, I had my assistant call and try to do that shit and they won't do it. You gotta bring your shit there. Looks like there's a party going on at this fucking house. <laughs> All right. All right. 
Home sweet home, jacuzzi time. I cannot fucking wait. And camera person, I have a question, so can you look at me, please? Do I have, do I have bubble bath still? I do? Okay, awesome. So it looks like I'm gonna be taking maybe a bubble bath instead of the fucking jacuzzi. Because the jacuzzi, I have to wait a half an hour for it to heat up. The bubble bath is fucking right now. Right? And the bubble bath, I can make it hotter. Jacuzzi only goes up to 104. Which, I don't know about you guys, but 104, it's, it's hot as fuck for the first 20 seconds. And then it's fucking warm bath water and I'm over it. So I literally get in and it's fucking heaven for like a minute. And then it's, I'm over it. And then I'm basically sitting there for five minutes and I get out and I'm done. So it's like, okay, I fucking turn it on, I sit, I wait for it to heat up, I get my towel, I fucking get undressed, I fucking go out there, all that for five minutes. This kind of doesn't seem worth it, right? So, the bath on the other hand, fucking bubbles and fucking hot, you can make it hotter, if you want it hotter. I got the fucking TV right above the fucking tub, I can watch TV. I got my Reese's peanut butter cups right here. I got my fucking Diet 7 Up. So I'm fucking eating Reese's peanut butter cups. I'm drinking Diet 7 Up. I'm watching Netflix. And I'm dicking around on my fucking phone in a goddamn bubble bath, right? That's that's what I'm talking about. After eating all you can eat fucking sushi and fucking training for two and a half hours. That's what I'm talking about. That is the fucking life. Right? And then hit the sack get up early and go right back to the fucking gym and fucking all over again oh man what a beautiful fucking life anyway why am i sitting in here fucking talking to a camera when i could be sitting in a bathtub god damn it <laughs> all right let's do this oh goosebumps when it's hot. Aren't I supposed to get goosebumps when I'm cold? <laughs> what the fuck's going on? <laughs> I'm fucking, my, my skin's on fire and I got goosebumps. <sighs> I don't like talking to myself. This is not fucking enjoyable. I don't like this shit. You're going to start talking soon. So I can't take it. I'm fucking having conversations by myself. <sighs> oh shit. You got to turn the TV on for me too. I can't reach, I'm already in the bathtub. Show everyone the fucking big ass fucking TV. Oh. Yeah, this is good. This is the fucking life, I have to say. Yes. Oh, yes. It feels so fucking good. Oh my god. My body's a mess right now. My back was all fucked up. I'm sure they're giving me a camera size, right? So, anyway, I think you gotta put the camera down and turn my goddamn TV on for me. What do you think? So I can watch some TV, enjoy my candy, relax, and then when I get out, hopefully, you can give me a, a cat massage. What do you say? Yes? Ice cream time, goddammit. Oh my god. Cookies and cream cheesecake. Is that a new one? You're nodding yes. Still not talking, goddammit. I get you motherfucking talking. Real soon. Chocolate and cheesecake ice cream with chocolate cookies and a cheesecake core. Right? Hell yeah. What is this shit? Who is it? What's this carb smart bullshit? That's not my shit. Is this your shit? It's your shit. Okay. Carb smart. Three grams of sugar. <laughs> yeah, fuck that. Right? 
what, what's the other one? The Boom Chocolata? Boom Chocolata. Mocha and caramel ice creams with chocolate cookies, fudge flakes, and a chocolate cookie core. This is what my camera person recommended. I've never tried this, so I'll be trying that one tonight. Yes. Well, you're eating your fucking carb smart bullshit. <laughs> Tastes like water. Okay, what else? What else, goddammit? Coconuts and caramel. The coconut in this is awesome. The caramel part sucks. Uh, let me see. Gotta get the pineapple coconut haagen because that's kind of hard to find. And they have no mint chip haagen I think that's it. I think that's, that's all I can find. Yeah, that's it. All right, we are fucking out of here.